Hello everyone, welcome to Kim's Crochet and Knits and today I have Carl the Chameleon to show you guys. I found this pattern on Etsy and the yarn shop is called Yarn Wave Shop. And I will put a picture of the of Carl up here or here, probably here. <laughs> and then I will show you what I did. Oh, I'm so happy with him. Okay, here he is. Carl. <laughs> Carl, I got to fix his smile a little bit because his smile, I just need to pin it down just a little bit here because it needs to come down just a tad. But other than that, I think he is perfect. <laughs> with his little legs underneath right here and they do have wire in them there was wire in the legs and wire in the tail so you can actually unfold it and fold it back up the way you want and i used 10 i used thread i used size 10 thread for this and a 1.5 millimeter crochet hook now for the ridging up here, because I used thread, I had to go up a bit higher. So I think I did a 1.75 for the main, because when I used it in a 1.5, it was just too small. It just didn't look high enough off of his back. It was just really tiny. So I thought this one looked a bit better. So yeah. And then we got his eyeballs, which I thought were so cool the way that they were done. And I can't really explain too much about it because it is a paid pattern, but you do need wire. And the wire I used was just um, stainless steel, whatever the uh, wire, just, I don't know what kind of wire. <laughs> I'll put a picture up here to show you guys what kind of wire I used and what the size was. But yeah, just any kind of wire that's strong enough to bend and be bent, you know, without breaking easily. But yeah, I am so happy with him. I don't know how many more I'm going to make with threads, but he is so cute. Oh, got a hair there, Cisco hair. Okay, so here he is. And I think that he looks so cool from far away, too. He almost looks like he could be real, like if you were to set him in. The... Now the rainbow color that I put in him here, I did that myself. It didn't, it wasn't in the pattern, but I wanted to add some color to him, even though I know chameleons change color on their own to whatever the their environment might be. But I'm very, very happy with how he turned out. <laughs> so highly recommend this pattern. It was well written, lots of pictures to show you if you're not sure about where placement and everything is. So, yeah, and I just loved it. So there's that. And he sits here on my cart. I don't know if you guys can see. Wait, let's see here. I'll just lift it. Oops. Sorry, guys. So I have a messy old cart here. It's like one of those three-tier carts. And he sits on here. Now, I haven't, <laughs> ignore the mess in my cart. I haven't cleaned my cart in a while. Maybe I'll do a cart video one of these days, but I don't know if I'm ready to be embarrassed about the mess. <laughs> but anyways, so there's where Carl lays and sits. So now I'm going to do some uh, Christmas amigurumis. I have a couple that I have purchased, so I think I'm going to start on those next. So until next time, guys, I hope you enjoy, enjoyed seeing Carl, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye. <laughs>